there's no question that going really, really fast is really, really fun. And there are sleds on the market right now that will allow you to go ridiculous top speeds, turbocharged four strokes, putting out more horsepower than this industry has ever seen. But there's also no question that a turbocharged four stroke does come with a weight penalty. Now it's less than it's ever been, but it is still there. So the question that you have to ask yourself is what if you could have all of that super high turbocharged horsepower without the weight penalty? And for the first time in the history of the snowmobile industry, we have that with Polaris's new Patriot Boost VR1 turbocharged two-stroke trail sled. In reality, this is an Indy VR1. It's the same as all other Indy VR1s. This is a 129. With the VR1 package, you get the Walker Velocity shocks. They're not the high lows you find on the XCR. These are the single adjustable, compression adjustable versions. They're excellent shocks. You get your Pro CC 129 skid frame, which we have come to know and love very much. You get, of course, the incredible Matrix platform with its incredible on-trail handling, excellent ride characteristics, and of course, near perfect ergonomics. This is just a VR1. Now when I say just a VR1, that's a silly way to say it because we love it, but it isn't special in that respect in any way. But there's more to this sled than just the Matrix. Last season, Polaris launched their Boost 852 stroke in the mountains in their RMK lineup. And of course, the question gets asked as soon as you see something cool in the mountains, us trail guys say, well, would it work on the trail? Polaris didn't hesitate even one season before they said, yep, we can put that in a trail sled and here it is. Um, what is the boost? Well, it's an 850 two stroke, just like other VR1 850s, but it's got a turbo that bumps the horsepower up to 185 ish. Now they don't claim any official numbers. That's our estimation. Their only official claim is 10% more power than their naturally aspirated 850. So in my mind, that puts it somewhere in the 185 horsepower range. It's been tuned and clutched for ease of riding on the trail. So, you know, just putting a huge horsepower turbocharged two stroke under the hood of a trail sled without making sure that it's actually trail rideable wouldn't be a good idea. The power is, as I said earlier, very linear at first. Polaris has tuned it so that you could trail ride this on a tight twisty trail. You could trail ride this with your family all day long and it wouldn't be annoying. It wouldn't be tiring. It's not constantly ripping the, the bars out of your hands. It's very smooth and controllable. But the second you squeeze that throttle a little bit harder and get up into that boost, things just get crazy. The rest of the sled though, how do we talk about the rest of the sled? What does it have, what does it do? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it is a VR1, obviously. The VR1 ergonomics and handling characteristics of the Matrix chassis, those are things that we've come to know and love. Those are things that it would be very difficult to convince me to take a high horsepower four stroke to lose those kind of characteristics on this sled. I mean, I, if this thing only came in a 650, I would still pick it every time because it just feels so good to ride and you can ride it so fast on the trail. It stays so flat, it bites with the outside ski, it's predictable, it's confidence inspiring. I would pick this sled over most of the other ones 10 out of 10 times, even if I was at a horsepower deficit. But as soon as you dump that big turbo under the hood, you're basically taking only a 20 pound weight gain to have an extra, you know, arguably 10 to 15, maybe 20 horsepower, depending on how you want to argue the stock horsepower of this sled. I can take this sled and get all the benefits of crazy high horsepower and all the cool factor of, of listening to the turbo flutter when I chop the throttle and hearing the whine of the turbo when I really ramp it up and get on the throttle. Um, I get all that fun stuff and don't lose out on any of the, the positive trail characteristics that I absolutely demand in a snowmobile if I'm gonna ride it day to day. Now the truth is, this isn't gonna be a cheap snowmobile. It's not a cheap snowmobile. And I know there's a lot of people out there who get uptight about that and complain about the prices of modern snowmobiles. And I'm sorry, but I just can't abide that. Snowmobiles are getting better and better as time goes on and prices have gone up partially thanks to COVID and all of the supply chain struggles and all of the you know, staffing struggles manufacturers are all having. Prices have had to go up. You don't have to buy this if you don't want to. You can buy all of the other versions that Polaris has. 
This is kind of reserved for that very specific user, the guy who wants to go lake racing, the guy who still wants great on-trail handling and isn't afraid to pay for it. 7S display, all of the other excellent features and benefits that you get with this sled. So before you complain about price, just realize that you don't have to buy this thing. And that's, you know, there's other sleds out there for you. If you're the kind of guy who's riding an 850 and you're getting tired of your buddy's turbo four strokes beating you down the lake, you now have the solution to that problem and it comes with almost zero compromises. And that's really all I have to say about that.